Android Gamers Unite Mob Crush, the number one mobile streaming community that is just blowing up right now, has released the ability for you to stream directly from your device. Get rid of all those cords, get rid of all that crap you have to be attached to. No root required. Today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to do this. I'm going to be showcasing the features and giving you some pro streaming tips. First things first, once you open the app, all you got to do is hit broadcast. You choose the game that you're playing and you set the title. That is it. You hit start broadcast and you are streaming live to the world. Once you're live, you'll know that you have this little button with an M on it. This is how you access the Mob Crush toolbar to get into all the different features I'm going to be showcasing. First, you have the camera. When it's blue, it's going to turn on the front facing camera for a face cam or you can turn it off. Next, you have the microphone. Same thing. This is very important. This is a huge tip. The way that the Android build works is it records the game sound and your voice through the external microphone. So it will pick up everything. If you're going to the bathroom, you're eating food, you're getting yelled at by your mom, it's gonna pick all that up. So if you get in a situation where you don't want your viewers to hear what's going on around you, just turn that microphone off to mute it. Next up, we got this little H in a speech bubble. That's the HUD chat. The HUD chat allows you to see what your viewers are messaging you without having to open the whole Mob Crush toolbar and overlay and put that in front of everybody's face. So this is what it looks like as people are talking to you. It's going to pop up right there and you're going to see what people are saying and you're going to be able to interact with your viewers. To the right of the HUD chat you have this little thing with four squares. That's called privacy mode. This is also very important. If you're in a game you need to put in your password or maybe your girlfriend is texting you, breaking up with you and you quickly want to cover the screen and not allow anybody to see what's happening, you can put the privacy mode on. It's going to blur your screen to the viewers so nobody can see what you're typing, what you're doing. And when you're ready to show your screen again, then you just go ahead and turn the privacy mode off. Last one on the toolbar is the face swap feature. This one's so cool. If you want to get close and personal with your viewers, you hit that button. The game goes small. Your face goes big and everybody sees all that gorgeous goodness on your face, all those pimples sticking out. And then you swap it right back when you want to make the screen big again. Now we're going to give you some pro tips. You can chat while streaming. You open up the overlay, the toolbar, and you can chat right at your viewers there. You can post things, post links, whatever the heck you want to do. Also, you can mod people. Say you're having a troll in the chat. You want to mod your friend. You want to mod somebody who you trust. What a mod does is it allows that person to ban somebody from your channel or mute somebody from your channel. You also have the ability to ban and mute while you're streaming. Lastly, we're going to give two professional tips. Number one, it's a very good idea to turn off those notifications because you never know what could show up on the screen. Remember, this is a live stream showing your whole screen, so you want to try to avoid those embarrassing moments. Second, this one is very important. It's going to take you some time to get used to. You need to take the game sound and you need to move it way down here. I've noticed because the speaker is right next to the microphone on most devices, it really picks that game sound up much more strongly than your voice. So if you have the volume up to the middle, you're hardly going to be able to hear voice. Now if you just want to do game sound and no voice, then go ahead and crank that volume up. But if you're trying to commentate while playing, take that game sound way, way down to the left so you can get the game sound and your voice. Once you're done with the stream, hit the red stop button, you're good to go. Now, once your broadcast is ended, you have access to a lot of cool things. For example, you can go on to the website and on your channel, you can download your stream, throw it up on YouTube, edit it, do whatever you want to do. You can add thumbnails. You can change your title. Lots of cool stuff. This is going to be huge, guys. I'm so excited for all you Android users that this is now going to be accessible to you. And Mob Crush is blowing up so big right now. The whole mobile community is gathering there. It's allowing us to interact in new ways together where before we would just have to chat in game or chat through Twitter and Instagram. Now we can have actual conversations. There's a lot of awesome streamers doing really cool things on there. You guys know why I'm there. Go ahead and follow me as well. If you want to see my live streams, I stream multiple times a week. I really hope this video helped you out and I can't wait to see you guys over on Mob Crush.